Good morning. Welcome to our service of daily prayer. We're starting a little late and so instead of using the liturgy for morning prayer, we're going to use the liturgy for prayer during the day. And um, on this day, the Church of England commemorates the life of Josephine Butler, the 19th century social reformer who died on this day in 1906. And so on this day, we remember all who have contributed to the reformation of our public life and particularly towards the care of the poor and the transformation of our social conditions. So let us pray. O oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Blessed are you, the God of our ancestors, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you in your holy and glorious temple, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you, enthroned upon the cherubim, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord, all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre. With the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sound praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it. The world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out together before the Lord for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the second epistle of St Paul to the Corinthians. The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is there is freedom. And all of us with unveiled faces seeing the glory of the Lord as though reflected in a mirror are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord the Spirit. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. So let us pray. And so we pray this day for ourselves, for the day that still lies before us, for all that we might do, for all that we might have to leave undone and we ask for God's grace, his strength, for his mercy, for his patience with all of the many errors that we may make and we ask for his blessing too. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the world, 
for our government for order where there may be chaos for wisdom where there may be hastiness for courage where there may be indecision for compassion where there may be calculation and for a spirit of service rather than survival. We pray for ourselves and our communities and for all who contribute to our life at a local level. In our villages we pray for our parish councils for all who are volunteering in the care of the vulnerable, for those who contribute to wider efforts in our society, and for those who are weighed down with responsibilities either at home or at work, for those who have financial hardship, for those who are suffering loss, whether financial or personal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray particularly for those in any sort of need. Pray for those who are pregnant. Praying for Faye and Jono. We pray for those who are about to be married, or rather who would have been married had it not been for the lockdown. And especially we pray for all those who would have been married in uh, April, May or, or June. Especially those who would have wanted to have started families but have decided to wait because they wanted to be married first. And Lord God, we ask that you would bless all of these couples. We pray also for those who are ill. Praying for Margaret Whip's continued recovery giving thanks for Chris Whittle's continued recovery, um, praying for, um, for Christine, for Jean Vile, praying for um, uh, Paul as he prepares for an operation and at the end of that period must recover in isolation at home in order to protect his family. We pray for Grant and Chris who are shielding for Chris's sake. And we pray for Josh. Archdeacon David's son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray also for those who have died and those who mourn them. Praying for Gilbert, for Derek. Jackie and for those who grieve their loss for Anne, for Kate and especially for Claire. Grant 
grant them peace and comfort in this period of their desolation and grant them patience as they wait for a time when the conditions might permit a fuller honouring of the loss that they feel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And on this day we look out and see the beauty of God's creation, the, the structure and the order as well as the chaos and the danger. And we give thanks for the world that he has made and which has not escaped his mercy. Lord, in, our mercy, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O King, enthroned on high, comforter and spirit of truth, you that are in all places and fill all things, the treasury of blessings and the giver of life, come and dwell with us, cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O gracious one. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the grace of the Holy Spirit enlighten our hearts and minds. Amen. So thank you for tuning in for daily prayer. Um, today I'm going to be compiling the service that we will stream tomorrow morning and um, we will be having a service of matins um, at which we will have um, Father Daniel, Canon Chancellor of Chichester Cathedral, who will be uh, preaching for us. And so please do tune in for, uh, do tune in for that. God bless you.